Let's take a look at how you can use the HP 10B2 Plus calculator to find the yield to maturity for a bond. So what is yield to maturity? Yield to maturity is the interest rate that makes the present value of the future cash flows equal to the price of the bond. So I have the equation right here. So these are the cash flows and this is the present value and it's going to, we want it to be equal to the price of the bond. So when you're calculating yield to maturity, you have to use a financial calculator or a spreadsheet like Excel in order to do this. I, ha I happen to be in Excel right here and I'll also show you in Excel. And the reason you have to do that is this is a nonlinear function and so you can't solve it algebraically. You have to solve it using trial and error. And you can actually do it that way and I actually did it that way when I was a student because we didn't have financial calculators and spreadsheets. But it takes a long time. You have to keep guessing the interest rate. And then when you get close enough, you can sort of interpolate to get um, a close approximation. But, you know, if you use the financial calculator, it does it very quickly for you. So if you look at this equation, you'll notice I have C divided by 2. C is the annual coupon. But because we're paying semi-annual coupon payments, you're only getting half of that every six months. Down here for the interest rate or the yield to maturity, it's divided by two because, again, if we're um, using semi-annual coupon payments, right, every six months, we have to use a six-month rate here. And you'll notice that it goes out for two T periods. So T is the number of years. So if that happens to be, for example, the example I'm using here, 10 years, that's going to be 26 month periods. So let's look at the example here. You have a bond that has a par value of 1000, a price of 975, uh, matures in 10 years, and has a coupon rate of 7%. So what are we going to type into our financial calculator? Well, the future value is just the par value. The present value is the price, but it's going to be negative, minus 975. The number of periods will be two times the number of years, so 20 um, periods. And if you have a 7% coupon rate, you're getting 7% times $1,000. You're getting $70 a year in interest. Divide that by two, you're getting $35 a year in interest. So let's call up our calculator here and see if we can do this. So if we want to make sure everything is clear, we can hit this, um, this sort of rust-colored function key, and down here, that clears all. So we know everything's cleared here. So let's just put in the numbers. Uh, 20 is the number of periods. The present value is 975, and we need to change the sign. Here's the plus-minus key. So that's negative, that's going to be our PV. 35 is our payment, and 1,000 is our future value. And then we're just going to hit the um, I slash YR key, the interest rate per year. We get 3.68. Now let's keep in mind, this is a semi-annual rate, so we're going to have to multiply by 2 to get the yield to maturity. And that's what I got right here. How did I do that in Excel? We use the rate function. Equals rate. Tells you the first thing you have to put in is the number of periods. The second argument is the payment. Third argument is the present value, which I already made as negative. And the fourth argument is the future value. Close it up. And we get 3.68%. Sometimes you'll have to expand the decimal places. Um, and remember that this is a semi-annual rate, so I'm just going to multiply this by 2, and we get the 7.36%. So really easy to do if you have a financial calculator or you have a spreadsheet.